described in the indictment, it was fueled by lies. Lies by the defendant targeted at obstructing a bedrock function of the U.S. government. For the third time, former President Donald Trump is indicted by a grand jury, this time on charges related to overturning the 2020 election. The former president was indicted on four counts this time, including conspiracy to defraud the U.S. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Luann Sorrell. And I'm Ronnie Elijah. We've got team coverage ahead tonight of the details on the indictment and what it could mean going forward. We do start with Fox 35's Madeline Rivera on with more on the charges and what the former president's response was to the charges. Former President Trump's third criminal indictment has been unsealed. He's now facing four felony charges. Since the attack on our Capitol, the Department of Justice has remained committed to ensuring accountability for those criminally responsible for what happened that day. A Washington, D.C. grand jury delivering a third indictment against former President Donald Trump. Special Counsel Jack Smith announcing the charges stemming from the January 6th investigation. It was fueled by lies. Lies by the defendant targeted at obstructing a bedrock function of the U.S. government, the nation's process of collecting, counting, and certifying the results of the presidential election. Smith accuses Trump of spearheading a sprawling effort to block the peaceful transfer of presidential power. The indictment cites Trump's pressure campaign against former Vice President Mike Pence, the Department of Justice, and repeated efforts to undermine the election results in battleground states. Trump releasing a statement on his Truth Social platform saying Biden is trying to interfere with his campaign. It comes on the heels of unbelievable allegations against uh, Mr. Biden and, and his son, as well as the fact that Donald Trump is, is leading in the polls right now. This is Trump's second federal indictment, so what happens next should be familiar. He will appear in person on Thursday to face the charges and enter a plea, as he did in June in Miami in the Mar-a-Lago classified documents case. After that, it's a waiting game. With a grand jury in Georgia weighing similar state charges, this scene could play out all over again. In Washington, Mallory Rivera, Fox News.